Stingrays are majestic ocean creatures and even might seem alien to some. While they're not aggressive creatures, they're quite capable of defending themselves from predators such as sharks who have been known to attack and eat stingrays. The stingray has a deadly weapon attached to its tail and it can use it with deadly precision. Check out these five stingray attacks caught on camera and spotted in real life. Before we begin, make sure you hit that subscribe button to get notified every day for more amazing content. With that being said, let's begin. Number 5. Stingray 1 A 13-year-old boy was attacked by a stingray while swimming off a beach south of Perth. The teenager suffered a 10-centimeter gash to his chest and was passing in and out of consciousness as his father and other beachgoers gave him first aid. A witness said that the wound was under the left arm from the back all the way to the front. It was about 4 inches long by about half an inch wide, and it was really deep. The boy was injured while swimming next to Woodman Point Jetty in Munster, just south of Coogee Beach. The story is that a fisherman had hooked the animal on the jetty moments earlier. The man walked the animal to the beach before cutting it free. It attacked the 13-year-old as it swam back into deeper water. It was heading towards these three children, so I yelled out to the children to get out of the way, Mr. Fowler said. The boy had goggles on, so he was straight away curious about what it was that we were trying to get him away from. He stuck his head underwater and started swimming towards it. Once he got towards it, that's when he dove on top of it. That's when he started to shake and things go pretty hairy after that. The teenager swam to shore but collapsed on the sand. He was fainting a lot and then he was in shock and out of control then faint again, Mr. Fowler said. Marine experts say that stingray attacks are rare but they can be deadly. A stingray barb does contain venom in it so it only releases the venom as it penetrates into the skin, the aquarium of Western Australia's education manager Jess McLaughlin said. Generally, stingrays are very docile animals. They very rarely attack, she said. They only use that defensive mechanism of their barb if they feel threatened or under attack. Number 4. Steve Irwin Stingray Attack On September 4th, 2006, Steve Irwin was fatally attacked by a stingray while filming a documentary off the coast of Australia. As they were filming at the time, the deadly strike was captured on video. According to colleague John Staten, Irwin came up over the top of the stingray and the stingray defensively thrust its spine upward into his chest. He pulled the barb from his chest and died shortly afterward. The cameraman who witnessed the death of the Australian crocodile hunter Steve Irwin on Monday revealed that a stingray stabbed at him hundreds of times, and his final words were, I'm dying. The television personality and conservationist, who became world famous for his daring stunts with dangerous animals, died aged 44 in 2006 while filming a documentary on the Great Barrier Reef in far north Queensland. Justin Lyons was the cameraman at the time and shot the video of the death, which was later handed to Irwin's widow, Terry, and has never been aired. In his first public comments, Mr. Lyons told Australia's Channel 10 he and Irwin had left their main boat in an inflatable to find something to film when they came across a massive, eight-foot-wide stingray in chest-high water. The final shot was to be the stingray swimming away from Irwin. Instead, it struck out, apparently believing Irwin's shadow was a tiger shark, one of its predators. I had the camera on, I thought this was gonna be a great shot, and all of a sudden it propped on its front and started stabbing wildly, hundreds of strikes in a few seconds, Mr. Lyons said. I panned with the camera as the stingray swam away, and I didn't know it had caused any damage. It was only when I panned the camera back when I saw Steve standing in a huge pool of blood that I realized something had gone wrong. Lyons said reports that a barb had stuck in Irwin's chest and he pulled it out were wrong. It's a jagged barb and it went through his chest like a hot knife through butter, he said. He had a two inch wide injury over his heart with blood and fluid coming out of it and we had to get him back to the boat as fast as we could, Mr. Lyons added. I was saying to him things like, think of your kids, Steve, hang on, hang on, and he calmly looked up at me and said, I'm dying and that was the last thing he said. Stingrays have several sharp and venomous barbs on their tails that they use to defend themselves when they feel threatened, though experts at the time stressed that stingrays were not usually vicious and rarely attacked and killed humans. 
Known for his crikey catchphrase, Irwin has had a wildlife reserve, a road turtle, a snail, and an anti-whaling ship named after him since his death. Rest well, Steve. Number 3! Stingray 3! Don North, 44, was struck down by the poisonous barb of a stingray while on a dream holiday in on the Thai island of Kaulak. She described the horrifically gruesome scene after she was attacked by the same breed of stingray that killed Steve Irwin while on holiday in Thailand. The mother of three said she's lucky to be alive after the attack left her bleeding from two deep wounds to her foot. Dawn, a police control room worker, said, I was walking into the crystal clear water and enjoying the view when I felt a searing pain on the bottom of my foot and screamed out in agony. I thought that I'd been bitten by something and didn't realize how bad it was until I lifted my leg out, and there was blood everywhere. Concerned I'd become shark bait if I stayed bleeding in the water, I screamed and shouted to my boyfriend, Dave55, to come get me. He managed to swim over and carry me out of the water and dumped me on the sand. People on the beach were trying to tell me that I'd stepped on glass, but I knew that wasn't the case. I had two stab wounds at the bottom of my foot that were bleeding profusely. Dawn was rushed to a nearby medical center where she was stabilized and medics rushed to find out what was wrong with her. She said, it didn't seem as if anyone knew what was wrong with me until the consultant went away to Google my symptoms. By this time, I was losing a lot of blood from my left foot, my vision was going, and I was feeling nauseous. The doctor came back and said that I'd been stung by the barb of a stingray and I needed to go to the hospital right away. The mom was put in the back of an ambulance and blue lighted to the nearest hospital, more than two hours away in Phuket. Dawn spent two days at the Phuket hospital where she was given antibiotics, antihistamines, and morphine. After she was stabilized, Dawn tells how doctors told her she was lucky to be alive. She said, A doctor told me that I was a lucky girl and the only reason I was alive was because it was a juvenile stingray and it attacked my foot, meaning that the poison didn't have a chance to get further up my system. The mom returned to the UK on March 5th and went straight to the Royal Stoke Hospital. She said, I went straight to A&E to be treated back in the UK and they didn't have a clue how to treat me, but they were brilliant. I had to wear a full knee-to-toe bandage for about two months to stop blood clots and had a district nurse come to my house every day to treat me. The mom had to take three months off work to recover from the injury and needed physiotherapy once a week to strengthen her leg. She added, it was a really, really traumatic event that I hope never happens again. It's a warning to all holidaymakers that you can never know what is hiding in the deep, waiting to attack you. My kids were absolutely horrified by what had happened, but were so helpful around the house when I was out of action. But I can see the fun side of it, and every time I tell a friend, they are in absolute awe of the story. Number 2. Stingray 4 in what's believed to be the first such incident in Singapore, a man died after he was stung by a stingray. The victim was Mr. Philip Chan, the head of the team of divers at Underwater World Singapore. Mr. Chan, who was in his early 60s, was working with stingrays when tragedy struck. Mr. Chan would usually be in scuba deer in the water to place the food in the mouths of the stingrays and sharks during feeding time while visitors watched and took pictures. He told visitors that he treated the animals in the tank like they were his babies. While describing the eagle rays and the nurse sharks as gentle, he said that he had been bitten a few times by sharks which mistook him for a fish but they let go once they realized he was not food. Tragically, Mr. Chan would lose his life to one of his babies that he had cherished for so long. When contacted, Dr. Tan Hyo Kui, 45, an ichthyologist, said that stingrays that have been in captivity can feel provoked and try to retaliate by stinging when they face stressful situations, such as being moved from their tanks. Stingrays attack when they feel threatened, cornered, or alarmed. Sometimes, a stingray might feel threatened when someone accidentally steps on it. Stingrays have backward-pointing barbs on the spine that have serrated edges. They don't just cause physical pain. The toxins in the spine can also cause extreme discomfort. When a spine pierces human flesh, it breaks and releases toxins into the flesh. If a victim's hit in vital organs like the chest area, it may trigger a cardiac arrest, which could subsequently consequently be fatal. There are more than a dozen species of stingrays in Singapore waters. They include the blue-spotted stingray, whiptail 
Stingray, and Gerard Stingray that can commonly be found in murky waters. Stingrays are not usually aggressive and choose defensive methods to protect themselves. However, stingrays are still wild animals, and when provoked and left with no choice, they will defend themselves using their sting. Number 1. Stingray 5 Stingray attacks are rare. The creatures simply aren't predatory and don't attack. However, it doesn't stop people from trying to create some story about a ferocious monster that tried to eat them, or something like that. A stingray on the Gold Coast showed it was not to be messed with after an aggressive swimmer charged it. A man was swimming near a large stingray on the beach at Broadwater on the Gold Coast when he decided to dive aggressively toward the sea creature. The frightened stingray swims away from the man, who then turns to walk back to the shore. Okay, so it turns out this video is probably absolutely fake, as stingrays don't swim from side to side, but you have to appreciate the length people will go through to create something bizarre. Hope you enjoyed the video, Top Fivers! If you haven't already, check out our other channel, The Brilliant, to enjoy even more amazing list videos. Uh, there'll be a link in the description, so make sure you go check that out, as well as all of our other cool stuff on screen right now. See you next time.